The Sikorsky S-97 Raider, developed by Lockheed Martin subsidiary Sikorsky Aircraft, is not just another helicopter, it's a revolutionary compound rotorcraft designed for the next era of warfare. With its coaxial rotor system and powerful pusher propeller, the Raider combines speed, maneuverability, and firepower to dominate both reconnaissance and attack missions. In this video, we explore the cutting-edge design of the S-97 Raider, how it compares to traditional helicopters and drones, its role in troop insertion, intelligence, and direct fire support, why the US Army and allies may see this as the future of aerial warfare, the S-97 Raider can reach speeds of over 250 miles per hour, 400 kilometers per hour, fly at low altitudes with stealth-like agility, and support precision strike missions. Designed to fill the gap between helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft, this helicopter could reshape battlefield strategy. From urban combat zones to contested frontlines, the Raider is built to provide rapid response, survivability, and lethality. Stay tuned as we break down its technology, combat role, and future deployment prospects. Intel Prime is a channel dedicated to exploring military technology, aviation, naval systems, and future warfare innovations. Subscribe for in-depth analysis, breakdowns, and exclusive insights into the world of defense. The S-97 Raider's Origins The story of the Lockheed Martin Sikorsky S-97 Raider begins over a decade ago, when the U.S. Army's Armed Aerial Scout Program sought to replace aging platforms like the OH-58 Kiowa with something faster, stealthier, and more survivable. The solution came from Sikorsky's revolutionary X-2 technology demonstrator, which in 2010 broke barriers by reaching speeds of over 250 knots, proving that a coaxial rotor system paired with a pusher propeller could achieve what conventional helicopters could not. Sikorsky moved quickly, unveiling the first S-97 Raider prototype in 2014. On May 22, 2015, the Raider achieved its maiden flight at West Palm Beach, Florida. Its groundbreaking advancing blade concept, ABC, rigid coaxial rotors eliminating retreating blade stall, gave it the ability to fly faster, turn sharper, and hover more efficiently than legacy helicopters. Yet, the road was not without setbacks. In August 2017, a hard landing temporarily grounded the program. Despite this, Sikorsky built two flying prototypes and continued development, refining the Raider for combat reconnaissance and rapid strike roles. When the Army launched the future attack reconnaissance aircraft, FARA, program, the Raider evolved into the larger Raider X, a bigger, more heavily armed version of the same design philosophy. However, in February 2024, the FARA program was cancelled, with defense spending shifting toward unmanned aerial systems. This decision left the Raider X unflown, but Sikorsky has kept the S-97 alive positioning it as a technology testbed and a potential export option for US allies. The S-97 Raider's Specifications Manufacturer, Sikorsky, Lockheed Martin First flight, May 22, 2015. Number built, 3, 2 flying prototypes plus 1 test airframe. Type, light tactical scout slash attack helicopter. Rotor diameter, 34 feet, 10.36 meters. Engine, 1 times General Electric YT706 turboshaft, 1,900 kilowatts. Cruise speed, 220 plus knots, 407 kilometers per hour. Range, 372 miles, almost equals 600 km. Crew capacity, up to 6, pilot, co-pilot, plus passenger slash strike team. With these capabilities, the Raider bridges the gap between light attack helicopters and fast-moving unmanned drones, offering a unique mix of speed, stealth, and adaptability. Strategic Impact The S-97 Raider may not yet have a permanent home in the U.S. Army's arsenal but its design philosophy continues to shape the future of vertical lift. By combining helicopter agility with fixed-wing speed, it sets the stage for next-generation reconnaissance, troop insertion, and close-air support missions. Even without FARA, the Raider remains a flying laboratory, influencing future rotorcraft programs and offering potential for international adoption. For nations seeking a fast, survivable, and multi-role helicopter, the Raider could still prove to be the answer. Cross swords the question remains, will the US or its allies fully embrace this bold step in helicopter technology, or will the Raider remain a symbol of what could have been? At the heart of the S-97 Raider's innovation lies its coaxial rotor system, two counter-rotating rigid rotors that not only provide exceptional lift but also eliminate the need for a vulnerable tail rotor. This design enhances stability, reduces mechanical complexity, and allows for tighter maneuvering in complex environments. 
the Raider's lightweight composite airframe reduces weight while boosting durability, enabling both agility and survivability. Meanwhile, its advanced avionics suite supports precise low-speed handling, sharp turn rates, and level body acceleration, giving pilots unmatched control in urban or contested environments. Weapons and Firepower Though still experimental, the Raider has been designed with an array of potential armaments. AGM-114 Hellfire missiles 2.75-inch guided rockets 0.50 caliber main gun 7.62mm machine gun This mix gives it the flexibility to perform in roles ranging from direct fire support to special operations strikes, while still serving as a scout and reconnaissance platform. Speed that redefines helicopter combat Traditional helicopters max out near 150 knots. The S-97 Raider, by contrast, cruises at 200 knots and has already reached 202 knots in testing. Lockheed Martin claims its targeted top speed sits between 220 to 230 knots, 250 to 265 miles per hour, nearly double that of legacy platforms like the UH-60 Black Hawk. This speed advantage, combined with its compound configuration, allows for rapid acceleration, tight maneuvering, and even steep diving attacks. On the battlefield, this means the Raider can outpace enemy interceptors, reposition faster, and strike before adversaries can respond. Filling a critical gap in America's defenses. The Raider is more than just fast. Its X-2 technology increases speed and fuel efficiency, while reducing noise and infrared signatures, making it stealthier in high-threat areas. Earlier this year, the S-97 made its international debut at the Paris Air Show, signaling Lockheed Martin's ambitions for global interest. The Raider fills a critical operational gap. Rapid troop insertion behind enemy lines. Real-time intelligence gathering over contested areas. Direct fire support for ground forces. Its ability to carry external weapons and maintain agility even under fire makes it a strong candidate for special operations, counterterrorism, and reconnaissance missions. The post fara future. The cancellation of the U.S. Army's FARA program in 2024 could have ended the Raider story. But Lockheed Martin is pushing forward pivoting toward export markets and international collaborations. The NATO Next Generation Rotorcraft Capability NGRC, program, along with potential partnerships in Europe and South Korea, now represent prime opportunities for the Raider. As of August 2025, both flying prototypes remain active, validating advanced technologies in ongoing flight trials. Sikorsky's persistence signals a clear message, the Raider isn't just a concept, it's a living testbed for the future of military rotorcraft. The question for the future. Will the S-97 Raider become a game-changing helicopter adopted by NATO allies, or will drones and shifting priorities leave it as a brilliant but underutilized innovation?